many people dream, but they're not living them. And I encourage you to live your dream because life is too short to have regrets. Hi, my name is Kendra Morgan. I am the owner of Prissy's Natural Hair Lounge. I am a mother of three beautiful children and also I'm a fibromyalgia sufferer. What my salon is geared towards is the mind, body, and the soul. A lot of my products are for relaxation and also to help with hair loss and hair strengthening. So what I do, I help people transition with their natural hair or if they are relaxed, I can also help as well with cutting, styling, um, just trying to figure out what actually works for that person's facial shape or skin tone. Right now, I work full time in the mental health um, field. So from day to day, I do experience people going through different stresses. So just to make sure that I'm good at the end of the end of the day, I either have to walk or do something natural when I get home. We see anything from personality disorders to just anxiety or low levels of depression. So, well, in order for me to cope, you know, after getting home to three kids, I have to find a way to relax with fibromyalgia or even just having a new shop now. Because I come from a full time and then I work here part time on Tuesdays through Fridays. On Saturdays, I'm here all day. So just to get a breather every now and then. And I know it's a lot of people out there just like me. So that's what I offer here. I offer relaxation techniques, whether it is just talking to people about herb, herbs and essential oils. I also talk to them about just hair in general. A lot of people aren't educated with hair itself, what they're doing to it as far as maintenance on a daily basis, whether they're putting weaves in and it's pulling out their edges or whether it's just going to someone and getting, getting chemicals. There are so many other things that we are uneducated about as far as our, um, what is it, our skin, our levels, the different layers, layers of the skin. That that's something that I do know. So I can, you know, the knowledge that I do have, I can, you know, actually give that to someone else. As far as fibromyalgia in 2001, I was in a wheelchair and that actually took me to an event of having to go through physical therapy and there in the water therapy it actually fried my hair so from there that began my journey because i had to learn what my body was so toxic on the inside i had to figure out how can i regrow my hair how can it regain strength and that's where my journey began 2009 i had gone back to cosmetology school and it was in my heart to um, start my own hair product line. So that was a dream then. I said, one day I'm going to do this. I want my own conditioning system, my own shampoo system, where is it to help people with damaged hair. So now, 2018, as of, I'm going to say May, May 18th, I introduced my hair oils to everyone. And so far, it's been so many great results. Prissy Painters LLC. Well, that's that's the actual business name. I, in 2011, one of my passions is cars. 2011, I went to auto body school. Um, I'm gonna back back to 2009. I used to work in, I was working in a mental health care center then. And every time I talked about classic cars, my face would light up. And it was a lady there then. She said. You're a Prissy Painter. And that's when she, she gave me that name, Miss Yvette Williams. Um, and since then, it's, it stuck. So every, even when I went through school and graduated in 2013, it's, it's just stuck with me. So I wanted to keep my personality, the things that I love to do, all in the name because it describes me. Now, as far as the cars, I love classic cars, of course. But to me... Cars and people are kind of the same, especially when it comes to um, classic cars. When you see a classic car, majority of the time it's 20 years or older. And it's normally in an old, it's probably sitting in a yard or sitting, I guess a graveyard if you want to call it, because it's all rusted out and it looks like it cannot be revived. And that's how I view people, restoration. 
when it comes to classic cars, it takes time. You have to put in, go through different processes. And with people, we're the same way. We go through different processes to be that better person. And even with the classic cars, once we get through the processes, we're bringing this car back to manufacturer status or custom status where it'll be, um, I'm going to say viewable again, and it can be used again. So if you think about it, you're kind of doing the same thing <laughs> with these natural products. You're reviving and restoring people's hair, people's skin. Did you think about it in that way? I actually didn't. <laughs> but the actual oil is designed to actually go into the hair follicle and like you said revive everything is actually coinciding with all that i do um my my canvases are hair cars music and food and these things bring me joy and i think this is a these are vital things that people need to in everyday life so yes <laughs> now that you mention it it is reviving it's reviving a lot of people, like a little girl I had, she was eight years old. Her her mom actually used my product. In 10 days, they, her, she had a bald spot, alopecia. The dermatologist stopped the injection she was getting and he told her to keep using my solutions. And that was, to me, that's love for me. Just to see somebody's confidence boosted or self-esteem or to me, being, that should have been torture for an eight-year-old to have to get injections to have her hair to grow. So, it's a hard thing. <laughs> right now, my main product is the hair, the Enlightenment Hair and Scalp Oil. This is like my number one seller here. Um, it's used for, it could be used for a number of different things from hair restoration, for shine, for as a heat protector because of its properties. I'm using, I'm using quite a few natural oils in this actual hair oil. Um, the, some of the properties in these oils are, they'll fight against UV rays, they'll protect you um, from heat. I, can, I actually tried my hair doing a blowout, up to, which you don't supposed to do, but 450 degrees, I actually could still use my oils to protect my hair and I didn't get any split, split ends. Also, it's good for to intensify conditioning treatments. If you're a salon owner, um, you can actually make, just the inside, you can make extra money. Just add a little oil to the con your protein treatment and sit your client under, under the dryer and charge a couple of extra dollars, and it will actually go in and make a, a more intense treatment from what you've already had. Um, also, it helps with, it's anti-frizz, anti-breakage, it helps with color. I also, I actually just lightened my hair probably about a week, a week ago. And normally once you lift your hair a couple of stages, your hair is not going to feel like normal. But I used my oil um, immediately after I shampooed. Um, and my hair is just as soft as the rest of my hair. It's maintaining, it strengthens the hair. It, like I said, it penetrates the hair follicle. So it can do, well, <laughs> it can only enhance your hair. Research, research, research. Um, not just research, but also in 1997, I actually took cosmetology courses. Um, I actually last year went back to finish my cos course. Um, I have completed the school um, in 2009, but I lost all of my hours, so I had to start over. So, also I do a lot of continuing education classes through Harris Life LLC out of Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Um, also Googling. Um, every product that I have in that oil, I researched online. Um, it's so it's a wealth of information out there on the internet. So if you want to do something, it's actually no excuse. We have if we don't have a computer, we have our phones. Um, we have libraries. We have and actually actually talking to other people, just like I talked to the herbalist. Um, the things that I need, she has and she has knowledge. So just taking notes and being attentive. I'm gonna actually say what I did. I started going to natural businesses, not ne not necessarily natural hair shops, but people that's been in business for a few years or years just to get their knowledge. Um, 
I have reached out. Some people will give you information, some people won't. But for those that have given me information, I am so appreciative. They, it was a, a wonderful lady in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. She's been in business maybe seven years with all of her natural products. And she has been so helpful, for, so helpful to me. Um, also, just going to the continuing education class, whatever field that you're in, um, hair, I went. I do take um, continuing education class in this field, the hair industry field. Um, I've learned wealth of information. I'm not a barber, but I go to barber classes. Or if I'm not a licensed cosmetologist, I do have my natural hair care license. But I do go to licensed cosmetology events, hair shows, whatever I can think of that'll be educating me, not just even on the ind industry side, but also going, if you're gonna start your own business, you definitely need to be insured. So it's many people out here that offer classes for insurance, or they can help you, whether it's if you need your product insured, or if you need um, just your business and your family insured, you can, you can start by knocking on your local community doors as well to establish business. Definitely go to established businesses. My goals are to expand um, not only my hair care line, but expand, expand knowledge or be able to meet more people because meet more people that need help with healthier hair or meet more people with the testimonies because I would love to, those people that I haven't met or seen pictures of, I would love to get those people here and we can do a photo shoot or something so we can advertise or we can just, just testimonials because a lot of people, faith is increasing. Increase. I also would like to hit, go to Atlanta, different larger cities and talk to people about my products or go to women's empowerment shows or events, um, go to church groups and talk if invited, go to more vendor spots, um, and just get more involved locally in my community. I always had a vision for an auto body shop and a salon, but I knew I would start off with my salon first because my salon would financially back my auto part. That's still my goal, even though the doctor said that I can't do it. I that's still my goal. And I always had a heart to like the younger kids to educate them about, hey, have this trade or learn something about auto body or learn something about hair. You know, trades that you can't no one can take from you. You know. Definitely they have to learn to respect. Have just manners period just having that background of respect for yourself respect for your elders being able to listen because if you can't listen to anyone and have discipline you will never get far being in the auto body industry that is more so a man considered a man's world we're having more women infiltrating that now but it's still a small number and on the minority side it's less of us than any other color um, but I would definitely tell them go to school get read definitely read every single day and not only just that on the natural side but if you're not going to church I would I can't tell anybody which religion but me personally just having that foundation with Christ and myself he has this as um, as a child this has kept me through many situations throughout my lifetime so far so being able to pray knowing the power of prayer and meditation and having a a strong support system i don't care if it's just two or three people but then discipline that that does play a huge part in everything and humility what sets me apart to literally sit down and journal um, auto body and intertwining these worlds, auto body and hair. Um, if you think about it, what I'm using a spray gun to spray a car, same thing going, goes to 
even the hair industry includes nails, the same processes that you have to go through to do hair, I meant to do um, cars, is the same process. Some of the similar names that they use to do nails. Also, the creativity that brings it together for me. I feel like you cannot go to a car show without having your hair done because you are making a statement. And that's what Prissy Painter does. It makes a statement and it's out of the box. To me it is because not too many females are female, ladylike, that are able to intertwine the two. I'm so by myself, but my children, this is something, this is what I want to be a legacy for them as well. My children actually help me package. They actually come in the shop and actually entertain and greet people, help feed people, whatever that's needed, clean up. I'm teaching them as well entrepreneurship. So, but other than that, it's just me. <laughs> Definitely organization. You have to be able to, by me working full time for another company and then have to come here and work for myself i definitely have to be organized um supply and demand definitely um my hair oil is well not just my hair oil but a lot of my products they sell out really fast and by being sold in me it can you can run into um <laughs> not having something when somebody needs it so just trying to i guess balance everything as a business owner finances, taxes, maintaining everything. <laughs> I do want people to know that this is a no hate zone. A no, it's a safe zone. Um, I have nothing to do with anybody else's shop, but in here, um, it's a lot, it's no tolerance for chaotic things at all. No, it's just no tolerance, but it's a, serene and i want to keep this atmosphere it's like a healing atmosphere to me to keep it serene and peaceful because this is a place for people to come and relax um as for me peace of mind you know just making sure others have pe a peace of mind because it's priceless when they come through this door they should feel at home and that's like my ultimate goal if I can't help them, I want to be I want to be a network networking resource as well. Um, trying to think of something. I do have a big heart, <laughs> but you have to separate business and your emotions. You have to really stay solid. And that's to anyone else that you whatever you're going through, stay solid, stay poised, stay focused. And don't worry about the outside chatter. And that's what this is here is no outside chatter. Even in the in the booth when you're painting a vehicle, nothing else matters on the outside. It's what you have right in front of you and what you're working on. And that's when someone sits in that chair, it's what is right in front of me and what I'm working on with that person. That's one major thing I want to offer. I'm doing appointment only. So if a person comes in with hair loss or anything, They'll have that. I'm sensitive to what's going on with them. They'll have their personal time and they don't have to worry about interruptions. I can close those blinds and we can talk or whatever is required or just even just a consultation. I actually worked with a phenomenal lady named Enam Jordan. Her, she actually gave me a chance last year um, to work with her. She was right here in this location. She's a licensed skin esthetician. And I ended up meeting her. She had a job um, opportunity part-time. And there was a response, I think last year in August or September. And I was hired. So she actually took me under her wing as far as vending, knowing different things in the area. And she sold skin products. She did Brazilian waxes all the above mink lashes and it kind of brought my passion back up because i actually wasn't expecting to be here today doing this because i was always a little hesitant about stepping out on my own but enam encouraged me and i i'm looking at it as a setup because 
that's how God intended it. Intended it to be if I never met her and she never gave me that opportunity, I would not have stepped out or had the peace to step out because she really encouraged me in this space. I have other people as well that actually inspired me or pushed me into this and encouraged me, you could do this, you can do it. A lot of times when we go through different, you being a sole provider, you're taking care of children, you see your finances, you see what's going on and you be like, okay, this, this, and this, this is not adding up, I can't do this. But no, they help increase my faith in God on this one. I would say many people dream, they have dreams, but they're not living them. And I encourage you to live your dream because life, I still say life is too short um, to have regrets. And to encourage you even the more, God has, he's a provider and he has everything that you stand in need of. And I'm learning that as I continue to walk, you cannot go through life standing still if you desire to do something. As I'm walking through this process, God is opening more doors for me. But if I stand still, how can I actually experience the doors that he has open for me? This is a, a forward progress journey. So forget the naysayers and even the doubt that you have put in your own self. Forget that. Why, um, just pull down those voices or those thoughts and start encouraging yourself. Start speaking positive things. Um for every negative thought that comes to your mind, just start saying positive things and surround yourself with positive people. Um, there is someone out here or someone that's out here that can actually help you. So if you stay in your shell, you will never get to meet those people. So I, <laughs> I encourage you to step out. Take that first step. I don't care how afraid you are, just take that first step. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Well, here at Prissy's Natural Hair Lounge, I am at in the Port of Tarboro Business, 217 North Main Street, Tarboro, North Carolina, 27886, Suite 105. If you cannot reach me, we're actually from 5.30 until 8, Tuesdays through Fridays, I am here. I am here, and on Saturdays, I normally get here around 10.30, and I stay until... You can also reach me through Facebook on the Kendra Walston Morgan. To purchase products, I still do shipping. So far, the farthest place that I have shipped to has been Japan. I've hit um, Florida, Mississippi, California, New York, Philly, um, and so many other places in between. But what they're doing is they'll reach out to me, on, they'll inbox me, and we'll go through Cash App or PayPal. And I will make sure I give you the shipping cost and the cost of the product, and I will get that package out. Normally, my shipping days are Fridays and Saturdays. A lot of my advertisement is social media and definitely word of, my, word of mouth. 